Well, I mentioned this in previous videos. As I start doing this top 10 list, I start getting more mystery illnesses, colds, flus, migraines, full body pain. I think it's the toxicity of this, of all these worst people just accumulating in my body. And yes, it started ripping through the software itself. It started taking apart the video editing software. And then I started having computer crashes. Everything was going wrong. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's get this over with fast. Here we go. My pick for the number one worst comedian ever of all time. He, this, and it's not Andrew Dice Clay, which is crazy because you'd think it would be Andrew Dice Clay as the worst stand-up comedian ever. Let's agree, Andrew Dice Clay was horrible. It was one of the worst things anyone's ever seen, unless you're from New York. This seems to be though an East Coast thing. Uh, maybe some future sociologists will study this, this phenomenon, but there was something like, there was something going on in the 1980s era to people that lived in and around the New York world. A Jewish guy doing an impression, an impersonation, a mockery of an Italian guy was like they fucking lose their shit over it. They could not believe how goddamn funny that was. I don't know if anyone outside of that specific region and that subculture and that world like you people in the bronx they would just not even question this as the greatest fucking thing they ever saw in their lives but i think just about to everyone else uh this uh, sort of husky jerry seinfeld guy doing uh, yo, he come my cock. I'm a John Travolta from that show. Welcome back, Carter. Hickory dickory dock. But somehow, Dice Clay doesn't become the worst comedian of all time because he does seem to fail out. So he fails out. And then here's the other reason why he's not the worst in the world because old Andrew Dice Clay sort of shows up later like something went on with his head that he started becoming he thinks that he is Andrew Dice Clay now he's no longer Barry Silverstein or whatever the fuck his Jewish family name was he thinks he's Andrew Dice Clay and sometimes you can't tell is he mocking himself or does he is he in on it which that kind of makes it even funnier. So he escapes. And right now he might even be underrated. And we're not, he's not getting enough importance and not enough nonstop uh, fucking airtime and YouTube channels and everything else. So maybe that's why he's not on here. Every time I do one of these, I'm cursing myself so hopefully my number one is not going to bring something bad on me. Yeah, it's the guy that hung himself recently. Robin Williams. Robin Williams will now stand as one of the worst ever. He is one of the worst comedians of all time. Please remember, we're using this metric the overrated metric so how much do we have to hear about how fucking amazing he is uh, compared to his actual comedy skills and it's off the goddamn charts with him especially since he died however a lot of people saying this are just remembering the comedic actor robin williams and they don't know is that he was a bullshit stand-up. He was a hack. He was not very good. And when he was, we're taking credit away from him because a whole lot of that was drugs. So Williams, okay, let's go back to the beginning. Robin Williams, just to be clear, another one who's a trust fund boy. 
He is a rich kid from a rich family. Uh, his mother, a model, so somewhat in the uh, entertainment world industry. So he's a rich kid that gets to go to fa fancy schools and trauma schools and Juilliard and all of these. That gets to walk around uh, Central Park as a fucking mime. Like, uh, that's not a hack bit anyway. So uh, the, this crazy mime discovers drugs and starts becoming manic. So there we go. We talked about this with John Belushi. This was also a time when the audience didn't know it was drugs. So they mistakenly thought, wow, this guy has got like crazy energy and he's trying really hard for us. But really what you're seeing is the man-made chemical drugs are doing a lot of that. So Robin Williams plus some other dude's chemical makeup of cocaine is what was doing it. Look at some of these pictures. Do you know this is called gurning? It's a phenomenon of certain cocaine users where they're pulling their mouth back and they don't really know what we call it gurning. He's got gurning face all over the place. That's cocaine. Yeah, and by the way, I think his parents even bought, they bought into that comedy club. So they bought their kid, their rich kid, Robin Williams. They bought him stage time. And then of course he'd take his rich kid money and go buy cocaine. And then show up on the stage, girding his face and doing a lot of hackery. That's right, I said it. A whole lot of things you hear Robin Williams doing on stage, they're from other comedians some of them it's almost not even hackery they're just really lame jokes that have been used so often i don't know if anybody would even claim them but he's high on cocaine the cocaine is doing it in such an outrageous way it seems like it's funny because again this is a time when people didn't know oh he's just gooned on drugs and it's making his body do that. Stop calling it genius. That's not genius. Okay, so people, that's why he's on this list because you keep calling these things genius when it's really just him doing, yo, how's it going, master? And he's just blurting out things uh, like, like a voice, like a TV preacher. Oh, she's the Lord. And then he flips to something else and he does this crazy black guy and his crazy gay guy and the crazy preacher guy. One of the reasons you don't think that he should be on here is because you're thinking about actor Robin Williams. Yeah, but beard Robin Williams is not count in any of this. He does not count. I think Robin Williams was a great actor. Was Williams a good comedic actor? Um, a little obnoxious, a little over the top. No, I wouldn't put him up there so much. Uh, he still runs off a lot of the cocaine stuff where he's, he's manic and too crazy and energetic. He's mugging faces to the camera, uh, making funny noises, but just okay as a comedic actor. Very bad as a stand-up comedian. We don't count Beard Williams with his serious roles. It's not involved neither here nor there. Drugs take your toll on people. You know, you can't beat the system. Yeah, so a young 20-something Robin Williams, he gets to be bouncing off the walls and ceiling. And then when he gets older, you gotta be a price. And then he's hanging off the ceiling and possibly bumping into the wall, depending on how windy it was, I suppose. I know Bobcat Goldthwait's gonna tell us something about this uh, and keeps using words like Louis body dementia. I think we all know that that's a lifetime of drug abuse. That's putting Colombian cocaine with God knows what into your body night after night. And we don't even start talking about all the other illicit chemicals that he relied on in order to be funny. Robin Williams, this is a tough one, but Dude, you're one of the worst stand-up comedians of all time. And you're on this list because of being overrated beyond the fucking moon. Which I happen to notice also a lot of that happens after you die. So I don't know how much of that is just Reddit fags wanting to show people they have so much empathy or sympathy inside them. 
So there you go. That's the top 10 list. The worst of them all. Surprisingly, not Andrew Dice Clay, but Robin Williams. Tomorrow I'm going to find out I have a uh, fucking uh, Louis body dementia. They'll go, oh, that's weird. You got, somehow you got uh, early on, even earlier onset Louis body dementia. I'll be like, what the fuck? How did that get into me? Well, it's from making these fucking videos. So I don't want to make any more of these. All right. See you later, assholes.